Sharon Rose from uh, Libertine Consultants joins us again here on uh, E-Radio, uh, which means it's uh, time for another chat, our uh, monthly uh, chat about all things debt, and especially when it comes to uh, debt counselling and understanding it a bit better. So today we're talking about debt review uh, removal. Uh, Sharon, hello and welcome back. Hi Ian, it's so nice to speak to you again. I'm very excited for today's topic. Um, There's quite a bit of information and obviously a lot of things to go through. So I'm very, very excited for today. Yeah, I can hear that. And I'm also very excited to learn more. (laughs) So uh, let me ask you, what is the process for removing a debt review from your uh, credit record? How does it work? Uh Okay, so there are three scenarios that allows a consumer to remove debt review from their credit profile. Um, And this has actually been confirmed or let's say defined in a recent court order that was back in 2018. It's the Van Feeren judgment. And the Van Feeren judgment gives us more clarification on the three steps. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible just so that you understand. So the first one is a consumer can remove or the debt review flag will be removed if a debt counselor has not sent off the over indebtedness declaration. So this is in a form of a document called a 17.2. Now, if somebody has just recently applied for debt review and maybe they decide, look, I don't want to proceed with the process. If the debt counselor has not sent that document out, the consumer can then just request the cancellation and the debt counselor will then um, cancel the process and the flag will then be removed from the credit profile. So it's fairly simple. It, it's only really between the consumer and the debt counselor. There aren't any other additional steps. The second, the second scenario that allows consumers to remove the debt review is if the declaration of over indebtedness has been sent out. So somebody applies for debt review, the debt counselor has sent out the declaration and maybe they're in the process of getting um, the arrangements confirmed in the court. Um, and it's in that in-between phase and the consumer decides, look, maybe I got a new job or I got an increase in my salary. I would like to maybe cancel the process and pay my accounts on my own. Unfortunately, in this scenario, what the Van Feeren judgment stipulates is that a consumer will need to get a court order. And this court order needs to confirm in this quarter what they need to confirm is that they need to show that they can afford to pay their accounts on their own and the accounts must be up to date as well. So there needs to be shown that there's an improvement in their financial situation from the time that they actually applied for the tribute. Once that court order is obtained, so you can use, you know, your debt counselor's attorney or a different attorney. Um, but once that court order is then obtained, that will then go to the NCR and they will verify that. And then the flag will be removed from your profile. So the second step, it's very, the circumstances and the requirements are very, very specific. It's important to note, if you want to do this, you need to make sure that you qualify on all of the requirements, not maybe just one, not two, but you have to have all three. So the first one is they should um your accounts need to be up to date. You need to prove that you can pay the contractual installments on your accounts. So not an arranged amount, the installments you are paying prior to the debt review. And there must not be a court order confirming the arrangements with your credit providers. That lead us, leads us to the third scenario. The third scenario is for consumers who have a court order. And the court order is basically just a document confirming the arrangements that the debt counselor has made with your credit providers. So the court just confirms that arrangement. So if that document, if you have a court order for your debt review, the only way that the debt review will be removed is either if your accounts are all paid up or your accounts are written off or if there's a combination of of the two. So that what will happen is your debt counselor will then issue a clearance certificate and this document will then remove the debt review flag from your profile. So those three 
as I, I've explained now, that is basically what the Van Vieren judgment has come to confirm. And those are the three scenarios where a debt review flag will be removed from a consumer's profile. Okay, wow. Okay, that's quite a quite a mission there, uh, Sharon. <laughs> um, I also want to ask you, how long does it typically take to have a debt review removed? So I'm going to go back to the three that I, I explained. So if the declaration has not been sent out and the client cancels, that process, it doesn't take very long. I would say maybe it will take about between 7 to 21 the working days for the flag to be removed. Um, the second one where the, the declaration has been sent out and the client has to do the the, the court application. Obviously, there are different um, stay or phases of that process, and each phase will have its own timeline. So, if you're looking at it, um, getting the court, the doing the court application, the timeline is purely dependent on the availability of the consumer of the court in the consumer's um, area, and then also once uh, the application goes to the NCR, that is also something uh, that is there's also a waiting period there as well. So I would say the second one, you can't really give an exact timeline because it will depend on the consumer and their specific, you know, situation. Um, then the third step, that would ordinarily, ordinarily take about two months if you have all your paid up letters. The reason for this is that the first month you need to make sure that you have all your paid up letters, you know, make sure all of your accounts are paid up. Even if your accounts are written off, you need to make sure that you have the letters for all of those accounts as well. If you need assistance, you can obviously, you know, employ somebody to assist you with getting those letters. Um, and then the second step is once the certificate's been, the certificate will then be issued and it goes to the, the, the credit bureaus and also the NCR system is updated. So that last stage takes about another 7 to 21 working days. So, yeah, typically that would be the timeline for all three. And uh, what would you say are the potential benefits of having a, a debt review uh, removed from your uh, credit record? So before I give you the potential benefits, I just want to, you know, I just want to point out the importance of debt review. So debt review is there for people that have an issue, you know, maintaining their monthly payments. So if you are not in a position to you know, pay your accounts on your own, to manage your debt, to make sure that they're getting the payments on time, um, then it would be advisable for you to continue with the debt review process. So I just want to mention that. Um, but the, the, obviously the benefits of removing the debt review would be the opportunity of getting new credit um, and also the flexibility that it will maybe allow in your budget. Many people also explain that there's a, a bit of a limit placed on your budget when you're under debt review because you have committed to a specific amount that you need to pay every single month um, towards your credit providers. So those would be the two you know, benefits of removing it. But be very cautious about just removing the debt review. Those three scenarios need to be applicable and also it needs to be beneficial for you in your current situation. Okay, and uh, Sharon, any potential challenges or obstacles that could be in our way as we try and uh, remove uh, debt review? I think one of the biggest challenges would be is trying to find a debt counsellor, trying to find somebody that will work with you through this process. If your debt counsellor is not registered anymore, um, or maybe if you have a difficult relationship with your debt counsellor, that could be very, you know, very challenging because the debt counsellor in all three scenarios is obviously the, 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 the common denominator for all three of those debt review removal processes. So it's important to make sure that you obviously have a good relationship with your debt counsellor. Um, obviously, the next obstacle I would say is cost, um, which I will speak about later on. But cost is also something that can be uh, quite challenging. Um, and secondly, what I've also seen is 
if you have uh, sourcing your paid up letters or your letters confirming your accounts are written off that can be quite a challenge as well because maybe you have a very very old account that was under debt review and you know tracing that letter um, can be quite challenging because that is a requirement of the NCR that you have to have all your paid up letters or letters confirming that it's been written off um, but other than that the process is fairly fairly uh, easy um, to complete but those are the few that i i would maybe like to mention and now sharon that uh, let's say the uh, debt review has been removed what steps can individuals take to improve their credit score so what you need to remember once the debt review has been removed of your credit profile uh, most consumers want to be in a position where they maybe want to purchase a home or they want to purchase a vehicle so these are a few steps that i have um you know advised my clients and that have also given them some success so what i would suggest is once the debt review has been removed you want to focus on healthy credit so you want to focus on things like revolving accounts such as credit cards and clothing accounts you want to maintain those accounts for at least three to six months prior to you wanting to apply for any major credit like a home loan or a vehicle because the credit providers are ordinarily going to look at your payment his your payment history for six months prior to you applying for that so you want to make sure that you have a very healthy credit score before actually applying for those um, you want to steer away because i've actually seen this in practice um, during this period where you're rebuilding your credit score try and stay away from micro loans and personal loans because i've actually seen it um, negatively affect consumers credit profiles so i would say those are the the few tips that i can give in terms of improving the credit score after the debt review has been uh, completed just one thing i also want to mention is that when you are under debt review your budget you are restricted to a certain amount that you have to pay every single month towards your credit providers and many consumers once they've completed the process their situation changes where they have an influx of cash back in their budget so say for example you were used to paying 10,000 rand towards your debt and now all of your debt is paid up and you have an additional 10,000 rand in your budget it's important to sit down review your budget make sure that you are um, you know using that money wisely saving for the future maybe investing for the future um, because you're going to you, it's going it can be very easy to not put a budget in place once you have that alleviation of that adif- additional funds back into your budget so just just that was just one thing I wanted to add. Okay, and uh, any uh, misconceptions or myths that you would like to bust surrounding the process of debt review removal? Yes. So the first one is cost. So I've heard uh, of, of some consumers having negative experiences where they find that the debt review removal process can be quite costly. So from a debt review perspective, there is a fee guideline that the NCR prescribes and this is how debt counselors are supposed to be charging clients for the services so it's imperative if you are looking for somebody to assist you with regards to the removal process and you get an initial quotation you need to familiarize yourself with what the fee guideline is for that process to make sure that whoever is assisting you they are charging you in terms of that guideline the guideline can be found on the NCR's website it's a pdf document it's fairly easy to you know to to read through and understand um that is something else obviously the attorney's fees that you will pay for the court application will depend on the attorney that you are using um but if you are you know using your debt counsel or maybe you 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 were not in contact with your debt counselor but now you need one to maybe assist you with the final process please please just bear that in mind and that is the reason for the fee count guideline in order for debt counselors to charge clients for their services according to that specific guideline the next thing is that you know there's there's a bit of a consensus uh, with consumers that the debt review flag will never be removed from their credit report and this cannot be further from the truth ever as i explained those three scenarios are the three scenarios that allows consumers to 
remove the data view flag from their credit profile and it's important to look at your circumstances and see do i actually you know qualify at this stage based on those three scenarios to actually remove my data view or would it be beneficial for me to continue with the process until such time i do get to that um, particular position um and yeah that's basically the two biggest misconceptions currently with regards to debt review removal and it's all very, very interesting. Sharon, thank you so much. Uh, how do we reach out to you for help with all things related to uh, debt and debt counselling and debt review? Yeah, so if you are experiencing any challenges with regards to the debt review removal process, um, you can always contact us or contact me, sorry. And if there's anything that you need, any questions, then I will be more than happy to assist you. We have a dedicated WhatsApp line. Um, it's 073 08 so you can message us on whatsapp and also you know find us up on our website we're always putting blogs on our website on a weekly basis just to help you and assist you with regards to the debt review process and everything debt related and that was uh, sharon rose from uh, libertine consultants thank you so much and until next month okay thank you ian are you struggling to manage your debt it can be a real headache but we are here to help Need help exploring your options? Libertine Consultants offer a free assessment on our website where we can create a personalized plan to help you manage your debt. Contact us on 021-949-2211 or WhatsApp 073-0118-208. Libertine Consultants, let us help you achieve financial freedom.